The Tall Boy bomb was designed by Barnes Wallace. It was a deep penetration bomb. Barnes Wallace, better known for uh, designing the bouncing bomb, though, for uh, the Dam Busters raid. And the Tall Boy, the second largest conventional bomb ever dropped in the Second World War. The Tall Boy bomb is altogether 21 foot long, over three foot in diameter, and it weighs 5.4 tonnes, and half of that is explosives. The Tall Boy bomb in Poland was dropped during a raid on a German pocket battleship, the Ludzow, and they obviously missed the target. It had penetrated the seabed and turned almost 180 degrees on itself so that the nose was sticking out of the mud. We assisted the Polish Navy with options in using our equipment. And to do that, we looked at all options, uh, whether we would um, detonate it where it was, whether it was uh, viable to lift it and move it, whether we could actually defuse it, take the fuses out, or try what we call a deflagration technique, a low order technique, which after a lot of uh, study of the situation the bomb was in and its design and construction, they decided that they would go for a deflagration technique. Deflagration simply means rapid burning. What we do in this instance is inject a um, incendiary material into the bomb by using a shape charge. So this shape charge isn't an armoured piercing type shape charge, it's designed specifically for bomb disposal work. The Polish Navy uh, used a shape charge, a 65 millimetre shape charge called the Pluton, which we manufacture. But this particular bomb was uh, especially strong. They had found some a uh, steel case from previous tall boy bombs had exploded and they tested it with the, their, their existing 65 millimeter shaped charges but were unable to penetrate because of the type of steel that it was, it's chrome molybdenum. So we developed an 80 millimeter shaped charge called the magma for this, specifically for this operation. What we did is explosively injected uh, burning material into the bomb, through the bomb case. Uh, this reacts with the explosives, cause uh, rapid burning, deflagration. That increases the pressure. The pressure inside the bomb builds up, and the idea is you either split it, which was our primary objective, or we knew that it could possibly increase pressure until such point as it detonated, which is what actually happened in this case, which is why you can see the big plume of water, uh, because we would detonated part of the bomb, but we would greatly reduced the actual effect of the bomb. The Polish Navy were very happy with the results. There was no casualties, no damage, and uh, civil disruption was kept to a minimum. So had it fully detonated, it would have potentially caused a lot of structural damage. The deflagration technique reduced that blast impact considerably. There was no uh, structural damage. We didn't even break a window 100 meters away. So that concludes that it was a huge success.